Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you a quick Twine tutorial on a couple of macros like the text input buttons, checkbox, and the radio buttons. Okay, so first off, let's um, create a text input box. So for this part, we're going to create a story and we want to have it personalized so that the Twine player can input their own name so it's more personal for them. So, hello, what's your name? So I'm going to open double brackets, write text input space. We're going to put the variable sign, so the dollar sign, and you can put any type of variable name that you want here. For this, for the sake of this, I'm just going to write name. And once you do that, it's going to create a rectangular box that's going to be like a text box. So it's literally going to look just like this right over here. And so you're going to be able to type into it um, during the twine game. And then we're going to open double bra square brackets and next. These double square brackets are just going to create a button to move on to the next page. Um, it's important to have a button because otherwise the text input won't insert, like it won't um, remember what's written there. So we can just close that. It's going to create the passage next. Yes. So over here we're going to, um, now you can print the name. So, so let's make first Let's go on an adventure. And now you want to write the person's name. So what you can do is the double square brackets, print, and you're going to write the variable, print name. So then it's going to show whatever name that they had inserted previously. So um, so now I'm going to show you a couple of buttons. So I'm going to show you the checkbox button first. This is a checkbox macro. So let's take some supplies with, oops, with us. Take as many as you would like. So the checkbox option, the checkbox max, macro um, allows you to choose as many options as you would like and you don't have to be um, selective to only one option. So double angled brackets, checkbox, um, then you do the variable sign, backpack, space, um, quotation marks, and then it's an adventure. So let's say we want to take some rope. Oops. Make sure you do the double angled brackets. When you see it like highlight in different colors, you know that it's it's been written properly. So now you can just continue and write as many different um, options as you'd like. So maybe we want to take um, a shovel. Maybe um, a suitcase. Who knows what kind of adventure this is. Um, and then we're going to insert a button. So you literally write button. And then do the square brackets. And let's call it next step. So that's what's going to be shown um, for them to click to move forward in the story. You can just go ahead and click next, uh, click close, and it's going to show you to create a passage for next step. Yes. And here I'm going to show you how to do the uh, radio button. So let's start again with the name. So print name. Let's also take our favorite snack. Let's say. So this radio button, it only allows you to choose one option. So radio, space, um, backpack, and say chips. Cookies. Um, granola bars. Okay, so let's leave it at that. And then once again, you have to create another button. So continue. So now I'm going to show you what this all looks like. Oops, sorry. Double. Like I said, once it's all um, highlighted in different colors, you know that it's been written properly. So if it hasn't changed colors, you should just double check to make sure if you've missed anything, like I just did. So let's close this. It's going to create the next passage. Continue. So you can always move these around like I mentioned in my previous tutorial as well, just to have them all in a line kind of thing. So um, let's test our story. So you can always right click and click test play from here, or you can also go to uh, build and click test play. So you can just ignore that, it hasn't been created properly. So hello, what's your name? So just let's make it a funny name. Let's say that my name is Unicorn. So you can see that I'm writing all in capitals letters. So that's how it's gonna show up on the next page. 
So I click next, see? So here it's gonna show where my name is. So this is a checkbox option. So now you can click as many as you want. So this is gonna take all three or you can do two, it doesn't matter, you can click as many as you want. Um, so once you click the next step and that button, it's gonna um, register that as a new variable in the backpack. So once, my, once again, my name's written, unicorn. So we can just pick, oh, let's take, say we want cookies and then continue. So today I showed you the um, text input. I showed you print name and the checkbox options. Um, I also showed you the radio button and those are the different macros for today. So thanks for watching.